like a Spartan. There's resolve in you. We have that in common. I saw innocents trapped in the flames. The ones in the warehouse. I freed them already. A good soldier acts when he's told. A great one is two steps ahead. Thank you. My name's Cassandra. I'd thank you too, if I knew who you were. Razidas of Sparta. You're a newcomer to Corinth. You're a spy too? An old Spartan tactic? Hmm. I have my ways. I get the sense that's a Corinthian hobby. Anthusa has her Etera watching from every post. Ah, Anthusa. We disagree, but have a common enemy. The monger? We agree he should be killed, but we differ on how. So, Sparta also has a monger problem. What do you know about him? His weapon has a far reach. Corinth is allied with Sparta. It's our duty to protect them. Then working alongside Anthusa is your best bet. If she had her way, the Mungo would be flayed in the streets. Sparta wants him dealt with quietly. What do you want to do with him? Right now, the Mungo rules Corinth. I want to replace him with minimal bloodshed. He'll only be dethroned if he's killed. It's simple. Yes. Diplomacy isn't something he understands. From what I hear, I'm not surprised. We arrested his top men, armed the citizens, tried to stir the police against him. It never came to be. The only thing left to try is a quick slice of the blade. That would do it. We'd lure him into Corinthia's sacred cave, and it'd be over. By the time I leave, Corinthia, the monger will be dead. Do that, and Sparta will be in your debt. I was Spartan, once. Once? Until I was thrown off Mount Taietos as a child, and left for dead. You're the daughter of General Nikolaos? All of Sparta knows your name! And here you are, alive! Impossible! I survived. I raised myself alone while life continued in Sparta. Never mind being a Spartan. Those of good character will forgive and should be forgiven. I'm on the hunt for my mother, Mirini. And the only way is through Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. You don't know anything about Mirini, do you? I know that no one should have to endure such tragedy alone. And I heard she left Sparta that night. No one has forgotten Marini. From what I know, she wanted them to forget. You knew Nikolaos? A good general, but a stubborn Spartan. And rewarded for his loyalty. But he disappeared, and his body was never found. The state pronounced him dead. That's all right. 
I haven't seen him since I was a child. There's no going back now. The displaced can always find their way home. The gods have just decided you must fight for it. They couldn't make it any easier. Chin up, Spartan. Easy doesn't exist. Goodbye, Brasidas. We'll meet again. I'm in the fight with you. Show courage. What happened? Where is Cleo? Your friend is safe. That's what matters. So, she's really gone? She's not coming back. No. Thank you. I'll let Anthusa know. Guess I'll be alone at prayer tomorrow. You promise she's safe? You have my word. <gasps> Your plan seemed to work. The mongers' thugs ambushed me. I heard. I also heard you had no problems dealing with them. It wasn't my first fight in Corinth. Or your last. We're going to take the monger to task at the theater. I've arranged a Corinthian drama no one will forget. Brasidas is worried about the anarchy that could follow the monger's death. He wants him dead, but wants it done quietly. That man is a long way from Sparta. This is Corinthia, so we'll do it the Corinthian way. I agree with Brasidas. I say we take him to the sacred cave. This isn't what we planned. The monger needs to be erased from existence. We'll fight him in a private place and he'll die. A simple transaction, remember? If you insist, we'll meet you at the sacred cave. Ah. So it is you. A demigod in the soot and shit streets of Corinth? Killing my men? Helping those fucking parasites? That's me. Ah, arrogant! Just like your mother! You'll never rule these streets, you pig! Oh, you bet your pretty face I will! Get your filthy hands! And when I do, I'll rip your fucking head right off! and send it to the cult as proof! What? You knew? Oh, I fucking knew her all right. She was big fucking trouble. But I'll pay her back. When I'm done with you, I'm gonna find your mother and bring her your fucking head! Vimos will wish she was watching this. Not if I bring her yours first. Get the fuck out of my city! It's not yours anymore. Get the fuck off my streets! You're going to fight me? You're fucking crazy! <coughs> Die! <coughs> Shit! <coughs> Someone get all the gear! Too bad for you! <coughs> Ah! 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 
Wish I could have been there to watch Thebos break your neck. Don't make me laugh. Wait, no! The people of Corinth must see him die. Anthusa. Take him out of here and bring him to the theater. Show everyone his cowardice. No. You wanted him dead. Here he is. It's a shame the people don't get to see him bleed. His cries should have rung out across the city. He's dead. I've delivered. Your turn. Huh. Yes. You're right. He's dead. Take his body to the square. Let the people get a last good look at him. As for you, Cassandra, I owe you information. We'll talk about your mother, just not here. I can't give you enough thanks for what you've done. <laughs> and for once, I can also thank Alcibiades. He sent you here, after all. There's more to him than meets the eye. He knew you could save Corin from that beast. Everybody benefits, everybody wins. You've proven to be a very valuable business partner. Speaking of business, you owe me, Anthusa. Yes, Mirini. She came and left Corinthia in a flurry, but made an impression on me. Like a great storm. I remember that part of her well. A strong woman with great intensity. She wanted to find her place here in Corinth, but never found what she was looking for. You speak of her kindly. You were her friend. Perhaps, on the surface. But she had a great pain in the middle of her that no one could get to. How did you come to know her? There was so much rain that night. I saw her, sleeping in the streets and gave her shelter. She was a vagrant? I wonder what my father would think of that. I didn't know what happened to her. All she told me was that she'd left the place that tore her apart. Sparta. Did she find work? She kept to herself, with one eye always on the port. She could have stayed with us, but I think she was looking for something else. Was there no mention of her past? A husband? Family? Nothing. Speaking of Sparta only brought her misery. It's like a part of her was missing. After Corinth, where did she go? That? I don't know. She must have given you some hint. I don't think even she knew where she was headed. All I know is she won a ship thanks to a lucky dice throw. Tihi owed her that much, at least. I remember the ship's name well. Siren Song. Iron Song. It was famous for weathering all that Poseidon threw in its path. Thank you, Anthusa. May the gods look well upon you, Cassandra. Visit me any time. I'll catch you up on Corinth's affairs. It seems I have an interesting future ahead of me. So do I. Siren Song. If I can find someone who knows the ship. I'll be one step closer to finding her.
gods have mercy! You want mercy? Those who trade in slaves anywhere on my island will be marked as slaves themselves, then hauled to Attica and fed to the system they tried to profit from. Get this scum out of my sight. <laughs> I thought all pirates were slavers. And you are? My name is Cassandra. Well, Cassandra, we're all thought to be murderers too. So tell me why I shouldn't kill you right here. I was told you're a trader of information. <laughs> Among other things, yes. I'm looking for someone. Sneaking into my city is a strange way to make a first impression. I needed to speak with you directly. I didn't think your pirates would just let me walk up and knock. Then speak. I'm looking for a woman. She left Sparta when I was a child. I'll need more than that, Cassandra. She has birthmarks on her arm that form the constellation Aquila. Now, that is something I can work with. Just who exactly is this woman? She's my mother. I haven't seen her since I was a child. So, you're on a quest to find your family? Something like that. Then your path is not an easy one. Aspasia is the one who sent me to find you. Aspasia? Now why would she do that? She said you might have information that could help me in my search. You can have anything for the right price. And what is that price? One you can afford, I'm sure. Here, take your drachmi. Nothing feels better than a heavy purse filled with coin. The information I need, how long will it take? I already have it. You do? Your Merini now sails under the name of Finicas. She started as a member of my crew, but we parted ways not too long ago. I'm leaving soon. Chaos is your home. But this isn't my true calling, my purpose. You might never find what you're looking for, Finicas. I can't stop until I do. You are a great pirate. And you are an even greater friend. Don't forget me. Do you know where she is now? She sailed southeast with her crew in search of a greater calling. She was part of your crew? For a time. Why did she leave? Much too interested in the politics of war. A waste of a good pirate, if you ask me. I haven't heard from her since she left. Chaos is a long way from Sparta. How did your paths cross? On the sea, long ago. In her, I saw a better life. In me, she found freedom. Together, we own the waves. I can't believe she was a pirate. She's the kind of woman who, once she sets her mind to something, gets it done. Thank you. I... Home isn't a place. It's the people you're with. If you don't find what you're looking for, there's a place for you here. Finicas. There have to be people who know that name. I should have enough information now. I should head back to Athens to see Aspasia.
Sandra, you're back. Got a run, sorry. Wait, where? I'll be right back. See you at the Spacias. Sometimes I think you are too much like me. And not quite the chaos that's not proper on the stairs. Aspasia. Oh, Cassandra. You returned to Athens. What's left of Athens? The world we've built is crumbling at our feet. It's as loud as a battlefield out there, and as violent. They're calling for Pericles' head, as though he should know how to handle this catastrophe. No one is prepared for the end of the world. I came to talk to you. I found out some things about my mother. Her name, her ship... Cassandra, it's not the time. Pericles is dying. He won't see me. He won't let Hippocrates in his room. He only babbles about going to his precious Parthenon. Pericles is a strong man. I'm sure he can fight the sickness. You heard the mob. He can't defend himself. He'll die with no glory. Athens has known him a lot longer than they've known this plague. He gave them a voice. His accomplishments will speak for him. <sighs> Pericles needs treatment, and the gods know he won't let me in. He respects you. Could you go to him? I could try. If you do, I will make the time to talk about your mother. For now, he needs your help. It's worth a shot. Aspasia, my light. I told you. It's Cassandra. Yes. Come in. It's embarrassing. Someone so strong seeing me like this. You look healthy as ever. Tell Aspasia that. She won't worry so much about me. I brought your drugs. Ah, yes. It's usually Phoebe who does the delivering. At least I'm alive. Though I can't say the same for my city. It's a shadow of what it was. Well, it will belong to Cleon now. He will have to lift it out of its sorry state. <sighs> Ah, I wish to see it with my own eyes. Come to the balcony. Much has changed. I can't even stand up straight to look death in the eye. You'll recover sooner if you let Hippocrates see you. It's my time. The plague chooses no favorites. I fear I've failed Athens. It's people, Aspasia. No, you haven't. Ah, you're kind, but I've lost. Aspasia needs protection, as does Athens. I thought I gave enough to Athena, but it seems it isn't so. I should be out there, on the streets. You'd be overtaken. There are mobs, and Cleon's doing nothing to calm them. Thank the gods, Cleon won't see me like this. But that's all I can thank the gods for. They've turned on me. It's not the gods' fault. It's the world. It's turned upside down. Athens' fate is decreed. All we can do now is wait. You should go back inside. You need to rest. Where I should be is in the Parthenon, my greatest legacy to Athens. We need the gods' blessing. But Aspasia... Aspasia's right. She often is. But not about this. Yes. I'll go inside. Thank you, Cassandra. Tell my Aspasia I was a good boy and took my drugs. I will. Pericles let me in. He took his drugs without complaint. Thank you. Something wrong? 
I expected Phoebe back by now. I saw her in the crowds outside. Did you send her somewhere? I had her go to Anastasios to see about a ferry. As soon as Pericles is strong enough, we're leaving Athens. We have to. But now she's missing. I'm sure she's all right. Aspasia, there's a plague. You've seen the streets. She's just a child. Give her the credit she deserves. She's more of a fighter than I was at her age. I told Pericles the cult is in Athens. It's too dangerous. The cult? I thought it was the sickness talking. I'm going to look for her. Where is Anastasios' house? It's across from the Odeon of Pericles. Here. Ah. Ah. By the gods! What happened here? Demos must be carrying through on his threat. Phoebe wasn't here. Hopefully she's safe. This was savage. Done to send a message. Mother of all, I greet you. Aniazu. Cassandra! Are you all right? I need to speak to Aspasia. We must find Pericles first. He's missing. I don't fucking care! Tell me where Aspasia is! Cassandra! I'm sorry, baby. Aspasia went to find Pericles at the Parthenon. She should be there. I think we'd better go with her. I agree, my friend, I agree. Aspasia knew the danger. And she still sent you. I'm sorry, Phoebe. You didn't deserve this. There you are, Cassandra. Quickly, Pericles may be inside. What's gotten into you? Phoebe is dead. She's dead because you sent her to do your work! No, I... It's not true. Phoebe wanted to go. She told me she would be all right. And you believe that child? You know Phoebe. She wouldn't have taken no for an answer. It was out of my hands. Out of your hands? You sent her away! You could have protected her! What I asked of her was needed to protect Pericles. She lived to help others, Cassandra. She lived to help you. It's a tragedy. She should be here. Of course she should. But you know the cost of living this life. I do. But did Phoebe? 
Aspasia, you're here. Any sign of Pericles? If he's here, he's inside praying. He refused to stay safe in the villa. Things have gotten even worse in the Agora. It's madness. Speak later and act now, Pericles. Go! Stay out of my way. All is lost now. He was a great man. Perhaps greater than we even knew. We need to get her out of Athens. We'll take my ship. We have to leave. Don't let him die in vain. Never. We have to move quickly. Stay close, just in case. Cleon has ordered that no one leave Athens. And he wants Aspasia brought to him. I'm not going. Leave! Don't let them go. Hey, you! Lord, Stop! <laughs> 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 going to stay, Cassandra. What? Why? My work is here. I can't leave the Athenians in the state they're in. You don't need us to protect Aspasia. Leave Athens to us. You saw what happened to Pericles. Do you want the same to happen to you? If every dissenting voice disappears, the people won't turn against him. They need me here. <sighs> You're sure? I have lived as an Athenian, and I will die as an Athenian. Then do something for me, both of you. Of course. Retrieve Phoebe's body. Give her a proper burial. Everything she deserves, and more. Thank you. Time to go, Cassandra. And I expect to see you both again, alive.
The farther we get from Athens, the quieter it grows. As though it's peaceful. But I know better. I'm sorry, Aspasia. About Pericles. And Athens. You have no need to apologize. For anything. I did everything I could to keep people safe. No one thinks otherwise, Cassandra. The cult of Cosmos simply had a plan we didn't see soon enough. And they struck when the time was right. About Phoebe? No, allow me. Phoebe was my responsibility. I should have kept her closer to me. It was a mistake. No, I wanted to apologize. It wasn't your fault. I'm sorry. Yet another murder to the cult's credit. I'll make each of them beg for mercy before I kill them. The time will come. For now, let us look to the future. Do you have a heading? I was hoping you would help me with that. Yes, of course. This woman. Phinecas. Her ship was called Siren Song. Phinecas. Yes, I know the name. Last anyone heard, her ship was docked on the island of Naxos. <sighs> then we go to Naxos to see Phinecas. Your heartbeat is as loud as the sea itself. We're approaching Naxos. Are you excited? Nervous? What will I say to her? Cassandra, you've traveled half the Greek world to find her. You don't have to say anything. Just being there will be enough. But what if she is disappointed in me? Listen, any mother would want a child as brave and as loyal as you. If I were your mother, I would be the nervous one. You think I so? I know so. Now go and find her. You waited long enough for this. Ready the ship for mooring! I won't be intimidated. Stock the barracks and double the patrols. If Paros is sending them, I want to know the moment they make landfall. Yes, Archon. But Archon, please, yes, the merchants have... I understand your concerns. But protecting the town and the quarries is what's most important. You may all go. Meeting is over. Cassandra. How? But I closed my eyes, I could still see you fall. I thought I had lost you. Alexius is alive. to get him back. He's too far gone. I gave up on you both once. Never again. What How did you... you... I have a lot of questions. I think we both do. But ask. I'll answer what I can. I want to know about my real father. How did you know? 
I was told. Nikolaos, you saw him. In Megaris, yes. Nikolaos was your father. He was the man who raised you. Until he took his Spartan duty too far. He mentioned another. What can you tell me about him? I always hoped you would never need to discover the truth. But there are things you need to know if we are to stop the cult. What do you mean? He sought me out before I knew your fa- Nikolaos. I've not heard from him in a long time. What's wrong? Soldiers from Paros just made landfall in the cove. A small force, maybe a dozen. Malaka. Timo, gather the troops. Questions will have to wait, Lam. I want to help. I assume you can use those weapons? Better than when you last saw me. Good. Come. Who is attacking? Paros, across the bay. Seems Silanos has finally grown tired of sharing the market. Why place. now? We've always had problems with Paros. I expected an attack, just not so soon. I guess the time for talking is over. Allies often forget their allegiances when opportunity beckons. Why are you working with Sparta, given all that's happened? Paros made an alliance with the Athenians, so they left me little choice. You needed support. A rivalry with Paros is one thing, but they turned it into a war. Their partnership with Athens was too much to weather for Naxos alone. There's always been a rivalry between the islands. After all, Naxos used to control Paros and Andros. They're envious of our craftsmen, too. And now? They think they deserve expansion. Their oligarch demands their wings spread wide. But we'll clip their wings before that happens. They don't know who they're up against. You remind me of Nikolaos. You fight just like him. Ruthless and cunning. He would be proud. The real world taught me better. When someone wants your head, you have to learn to save your neck. I know exactly what you mean. What happened to you in Argolis after that night? I found your brother and rushed to a young doctor's apprentice, Hippocrates. I thought I'd lost you. I wasn't ready to lose you both. I spoke with him recently. That night still haunts him. I was heartbroken when the healers in Asclepios told me Alexios was dead. The two of you were my whole world. But he did live. They lied to you. They must have realized he was special and handed him over to the cult. We'll save him from the cult, Mother. We'll get him back. The cult is insidious. Once they have their claws in, they don't let go. I fear he is beyond saving. I found you, didn't I? I know we can save him. Together. I don't understand why the cult targeted our family. There are many reasons, Lam. What did we ever do to them? Now that we're reunited, it's more a question of what we could do to them. They fear us. Your ancestors have been a thorn in their side for generations. They've decided we need to be eliminated to ensure their plans come to fruition. If it's our family they fear, we'll reunite and give them a reason to be afraid. 
Many have tried to stop them and failed. We are not those people. Where others failed, we will succeed. I know you left Sparta, but how did you end up on this island? I couldn't stand by Nikolaos after what he did. I had to get out of Sparta. So why here? I saw an opportunity to help people, to grow something. I was elected to rule and protect this island from those who would ruin what we've built. You've done some incredible things. Naxos is lucky to have you as its leader. It's not been without its difficulties, but I'm proud of what we've achieved. It's a pity there aren't more leaders like you. Let's continue this discussion somewhere the smell of death doesn't linger. Ride with me. Off we go now. The island is beautiful. It is. Sparta has nothing on Naxian beaches. Sparta. All I remember is the bottom of Mount Taietos. When I brought you to the Pythia as a baby, she never said we would live a night. She said you had such promise. The Pythia can't predict everything. Your general acted quickly, raising the alarm. Timo knows Paris is a threat. They make their business clear. They can't be more clear than sending soldiers. And there's no treaty? Maybe there was, but it's long over. Now there's no mistaking them for anything but the enemy. An enemy I could help you defeat. We'll discuss that later. But I think you're right. Let's go. <laughs> Paros must be stopped. The temple's coming along, Evandros. If you stay in the ruins, you don't secure more donations. Soldiers can't get all the funds. They can if you don't want the temple destroyed by our enemy. It's but a good deed they start in construction. Ligdamis was a great man who deserves reverence. His battles against corruption and oligarchy are lessons we all should remember. I do intend to finish the temple. Thank you, Phoenix. What a strange day it has been. But a good one. I've certainly had worse. <laughs> Me too. You have grown into a remarkable woman. But I see the burden you carry on your shoulders. Finding you has lessened it, I think. I'm glad. But I have wondered why the gods chose to reunite us now. I think they felt it was about time our family found each other again. If we want to be truly united, we have to find Alexios and rescue him from the cult's grasp. They are the source of all our pain. And they will cause more to many others unless we act. I put that life behind me the moment I left Sparta. I have Naxos to worry about now. Let me help you here. We can safeguard Naxos, and then hunt down the cult together. Mirini! The Symbosium is about to start! By the gods! I'm sorry, my sweet. I forgot. Prepare the horses. I'll be out shortly. The Symposium? I need to show the people their leader is strong and in control. Sometimes the face we show to the world needs to be one of strength, despite the chaos we harbor beneath. I will help you stop the cult. But before I can leave Naxos, I have to ensure it will survive without me. What do you need? Paros has to be dealt with. We need to weaken their position. Once they're vulnerable, they will make a reckless decision and we will strike. What did you have in mind? We must force the Paros fleet to engage us and destroy it. But my admiral, Aeneas, is missing. His ship was sailing for Paros to engage in peace talks, and he never returned. Don't worry. I'll find him. If you need me, I'll be at the symposium. Although, try to look less intimidating should you choose to pay me a visit. You're the only survivor? They took prisoners. 
I was too far gone to carry back to Baros. What happened? We came to talk peace with Baros. They ambushed us. What of your captain, Aeneas? Took him. If Baros has him, where would he be? They joked about tying him atop the quarry and letting the sun soften him up. Why keep him alive? Leverage. They know he's important to Finicas. I'll get him. Make them pay. Should I add some Spartan red? where it hurts. Keep this up. I'll change the balance of power. Hard man to kill. I know she won't do that. Let's get out of here. Thank you, Miss Theos. I hope Phoenix pays you well for this. Remind her for me. Something's wrong with Paros. More than usual. Strange things are afoot. What did you see? There were others. Not the Paros type. One had a mask. Never seen that before. A mask? Hmm. I couldn't tell who he was. Time to get off this godforsaken island. I know my way back. You should tell Finicas what you saw. 
I'll report to her at once. Did you not hear what I said? These are their most skilled killers. You cannot stay in the public eye. They'll find you. I understand you perfectly. But I also need to be seen. The propagandist did his job well. I need more support to attack Barros. I've seen too many people die already. Please, come away from here. Spasia? What brings you here? Cassandra! Read the room, my dear. I'm interrupting. Please, continue your discussion. It sounds fascinating. I've just come to tell your mother that the cult's elite forces are after her, and that this place is too open. And I've been telling Aspasia I need to appear in public to maintain the support of the citizens. You want me to handle the cult soldiers? Not only that. My people won't believe Paros is behind this without proof. I need you to find it. Of course. Good. And I'll make the rounds here. Shore up my support. Be careful. They're dangerous. I know. I'll get her out of here safely. Where do your sources say I should start looking? I'd try the caves under Mount Zas. The cultists are so enamored with their own mysticism. It's predictable enough for them. I don't think anyone sent to kill you is going to admit who they're working for. You're right. Physical proof is better. I'm sure you can find something. Of course. I'd be happy to help you both. I'll see you again later. Ah. The cave entrance. There and there. Try to stay out of sight. What's that noise? Seal of Paros. And a letter? Some kind of code. The cult soldiers were paid with Rachmi from Paros. Well, I could hardly ask for clearer proof. This will settle some scores. Take this to the Merchants Guild. Tell them it's the proof I promised. And tell them they can keep the coins. Of course. There was also this. I assume it's their orders. I recognize this. It's an old dialect. The cult must use it to communicate with one another. You can read it? This money isn't from Silanos. It's from someone in Sparta. That's not possible. I can translate it for you, but these orders come from a Spartan king. 
The Spartan nobility has always resisted the cult. The cult is like water. Any crack in the stone and they'll get in. Sparta stands against corruption. Sparta has changed since we were there. Corruption spreads everywhere, as Aspasia says, even to Sparta. They want to instill discipline across the Greek world, why they rot from within. They're focused on the wrong enemy. I am still Spartan. And so are you. Are you really? I have responsibilities here. Paros needs to be stopped. But then, yes, I will go back. You may speak. Ships from Paros have blocaded the harbor. God curse Silanos and his damned cult! Do they never tire of meddling? Ugh. Tell them I'm on my way. A blockade? I've refused to pay tribute to Athens, and Paros is taking advantage of the situation. There goes our hope of striking first. I can bring my ship around and clear the harbor. Just you against an entire blockade? You're right. It's terrible odds for Paros. Be safe and come back to me, Lam. is clear. We need to move out before they send reinforcements. We're almost ready. Timo? The ships are loading now. They'll be ready on your command. Cassandra? A word. Is something wrong? Besides the attacks on my island and the cult's meddling? No. But we must speak privately. Whatever you need. The cult must be stopped. When we return to Laconia, it will be dangerous. I'm used to it. We both are. Here I know who I can and cannot trust. I would have said that about Sparta too, but this news about the king. Did Aspasia find out which of the kings is working with the cult? For all we know, it's both. We must cleanse Sparta of its corruption, no matter the cost. At least now, we can face them together. Yes, for all that those bastards tried to take from us, and your brother. We will find him. Come see me when you're ready. Are you ready to sail? Where to? We're going to destroy the fleet of Paros once and for all. Only then will Naxos be secure enough for us to leave. I'm ready. <sighs> then I leave this to you. With your shield, or on it. And now we strike a blow to the cult. Prepare to board! Follow me and make them pay! Get any closer. Yeah! Ah! 
Naxos seems secure. We have done great things together for its people. But now, we must look beyond these shores and destroy the cult. They are everywhere and nowhere. Their followers are without number. Where do we start? We cut the heads off the beast one at a time until they are blind and defenseless. Sparta. Sparta? I still have influence there, and allies. We can rally around our home and cleanse it of their influence as an example to the world. It will be dangerous. Their hold on Sparta is strong. Don't you think it's time we returned? Together. I have only a few more things to do here. As soon as you're ready, we'll set sail for Laconia. I think there's something you should do first. What? You need to find your father. Who is he? He's a difficult man to describe. He's many things. But the only way to truly know him is to meet him yourself. So you won't tell me now? There are details only he can provide. I hope when you meet him, you understand. You'll find what you need on the island of Thera. I've given your navigator the course. I'll see you in Laconia. I'll be there. May Poseidon keep you safe. Safe journeys. Thera. You're quiet tonight, Barnabas. Sorry! Years ago, on a bright night like this one, my old friend Karos and I were sailing to Samos. When we heard our names being sung out in the middle of the darkness, the song was so sweet, we forgot how to sail. Don't tell me. You saw the sights. I covered my ears to drown out their chants. But when I went to warn Karos, he was gone. I never saw him again. I'm sorry. When the sea calls, you never know where it will lead you. Taros might be king of some faraway land by now. You never know. Sira. Not what I expected. These ruins look old. I wonder who built them and when. What are those towers? Nothing but a tablet. I wonder what it says. So the light beams are the key. Aligned. Something's in the way.
There. That should work. Now to try the door. Why would my father be here? It's hot in here. What is this place? Time to take a dive. Hello? Icarus! <laughs> Traitor. Greetings, Cassandra. Welcome to Atlantis. Atlantis? Impossible! I thought it was just a myth. There are many secrets in this world that are hidden behind myth and legend. And who are you? My name is Pythagoras. I'm your father. Pythagoras? That doesn't make any sense. He died decades ago. Yes. Almost a century if memory serves. And yet, here I am. Standing before you. And Icarus is... My oldest and dearest friend. I sent him to watch over you. And now, here you are. Mirini, my mother, she sent me here to find you. Mirini, she sent you here because she knew this was your destiny. My destiny? There's more at stake than any one mind can comprehend. Why was I sent here? What's my role in all of this? I want answers! There is knowledge in this place. Powerful knowledge. In the wrong hands, its secrets could bring about the downfall of humanity. We cannot allow others to discover this place. We must find a way to see it from the world forever. I don't understand any of this. I'm a warrior, not a scholar. We all have a purpose, Cassandra. Yours was to help me protect the secrets of Atlantis. You're right. We must save the Greek world from itself. Above all things, trust yourself. You're capable of greatness. I'll do my best. The answers I seek are behind these mechanisms. They are sealed, and the artifacts to open them are missing. So, I need to find the artifacts and return them to Atlantis. I've collected information that hints at where these artifacts may be located. However, they are incredibly powerful. They corrupt the minds of lesser people and possess a will to defend themselves. I'll bring them back. But I still have questions for you. And I have answers. For now, though, take this. It's part of a key to access an artifact that is hidden in Viotia. I have an ally trying to find the second half as we speak.
Vera! We found Atlantis! Atlantis? Let me check your vitals. You're delirious! We've been searching for an Isu artifact with reality-bending powers, and this bothers you? <sighs> Pythagoras was born around 570 BCE. That would make the man in that cave nearly 150 years old. What could possibly be keeping him alive? The staff of Hermes Trismegistus! Mrs. San, you were right. I'll help you pack up the gear. Thanks. Let's roll out. I've reached the coordinates. This series of caves we detected should be right under me. My equipment's ready. Preparing to dive. Layla, you have no idea what's down there. There could be sharks. I prefer that to Templars. We'll keep an eye out for Abstabo. Good luck, Layla. Thanks. I'm heading down now. There has to be a way in. I'll find it. There! That must be the way in. Are you all still reading me? It's awfully quiet on comms. We hear you, Layla. Thanks. It's just so silent down here. You're not alone, Layla. We're monitoring your progress. You're doing fine. Yeah, we're here if you need us. Send us a thing sitting at the desk. Well, I don't have to be in a boat to be useful. I have loads of information on ancient Greece. Did you know that at Zakros, the Minoans built a graveyard so huge it was known as the Ravine of the Dead? Can we please not talk about death? Elena, promise me that if I die down here, You'll rename this place the Caves of the Dead. I'm on it. People! I'm gonna miss the London Loft. I really like the view. Miss it? Why can't you go back? Didn't you read Kyoshi's report? Abstergo's already swept through it. It's compromised. No, I've been busy researching Athena. Kyoshi, are you alright? Of course. After clearing out the last of her gear, I observed the infiltration from a distance. Did they pick up the present I left? Yes, they found the USB key you dropped under the desk. Nice tactic. No one at Abstergo will be stupid enough to stick that in a computer. They don't have to. It's a shell holding one of my special RFID transmitters. Get it anywhere near workstation, like, say, in the head of security's office, and boom! Impressive! All in a day's hack. Wow! It's more elaborate than I could have imagined! How did they build all this? What I wouldn't pay for an Isu toolbox. This is different from Egypt. Some aesthetic elements in common, but. Mm -hmm. I should get out of this diving suit before I start exploring. It's real. I made it. Layla to Altair 2? I'm in. Do you have visuals? 
Yes. By the gods, Layla, it's Atlantis. How are you feeling? Any nausea from the pressure change? No, I'm fine. These rooms are... amazing. Think, Layla, think. There must be a way. Something has to power up this place. I'm re-entering the Animus. I need Cassandra to show me how she got farther inside. I know there's not much time, but I need answers. I imagine you have many questions. I have questions about my family. The sentimental and emotional connections formed between people have always irked me. I knew Mirini would fail to stay detached. Why did you come here and leave my mother and me in Sparta? I was never going to raise you. Our duty was to continue our ancient bloodline and ensure there was someone strong enough to do what was necessary when the time came. You could have brought us here with you. And you would have been unprepared. If you've been here all these years, how did you meet my mother? We're both descendants of the people who built this place just like you. We knew that we had an obligation to preserve our lineage. That's when you agreed to make me. In a manner of speaking, yes. Why is the cult hunting our family? It is our family's destiny to control the power in this place. In our blood lies the key to unlocking the secrets of Atlantis. So they want our blood? You have a destiny, my child, to destroy the cult and their influence on the Greek world. You threaten everything they have striven for, because you have the power to oppose them. They've tried to destroy me and failed, and they'll never control me. That's all I wanted to know. I want to know more about Atlantis, and your work. There isn't enough time for me to explain even a fraction of what I have learned here. All I can offer for now is a hint of enlightenment. You call it Atlantis, but what exactly is this place? I believe it was a city long ago. A place where beings of great knowledge and power lived before humankind had built even its first primitive settlements. It was perhaps some kind of library where the Ancient Ones stored information. Oh, this place is like a tomb. How did you live down here, and for so long? This artifact, like your spear, possesses incredible power. It has given me life, so that I may continue to learn from this place. What have you been studying here? Everything. The first civilization's history, their culture, their science. With it, we can change humanity's destiny and usher in an age of enlightenment. Destiny is something only the gods can alter. They were gods, living, breathing gods. I've heard enough. What do I do with the artifacts? Just place them in their corresponding steelies, and the path to answers will illuminate. I should go. Yes, there is much to do. Bring back the artifacts quickly. The longer we wait, the greater the risk of Atlantis being discovered.